Welcome back guys to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode 13 of season 2 today at Spa Belgium, I think. Anyways, I have leveled up the card to level 4 now. Hopefully, the, we have a better performance than previous. Anyways, time to get into qualifying. Weather looks a bit forecast, but it seems to be it's supposed to be a dry race. Do we still have DRS and ERS activated? Let's hope so. Or else I would have be screwed. And yes, we do. A little bit late on DRS though. It's alright. I don't think that cost will cost us, us too much. So we have to be smart about the ERS usage here. Because you most of the AI, the their ERS usage is not that smart. And usually we win them using ERS. So yeah, we hope that we get to the front of the off the grid and we get to use our ARS early on the main straight so that we can actually pull away we're going pretty well right now I would say uh, this track is actually quite long as you will see later each lap that uh, is about 5% car wear compared to the average 4% It feels quite slow right now although we're going in gear 6 I'm not sure if it's just something with me today or it's the car The second sector doesn't look too ideal to me. Let's hope that the third sector can bring everything up. We're relying on this last sector. Quite a bit of ERS remaining. As you can see, we now hit the 5% mark. So this is what I mean by extra car wear. And now on the final straight, can we do something about this? How high can we get it up to? This lap. Where can it go? It's good enough for P6. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. Considering the Magnuson's already down in P7 then, I think. Well, it's a very big performance gain from our teammate. Advertisements. Anyways, let's continue on. Let's see where we can end up in the race. Every championship point matters. So... We have to make the best out of this weekend. So in front of us, Leclerc, Paris, Stroll, Verstappen and Alonso. Also, I would like your opinions. Should I read out the whole starting grid? Or just a few people so that I want to focus on? Anyways, it's time that we get started and a bit of ERS usage uh, Some contact with Leclerc and Stroll, we spun Stroll Oh, that, that, that's not the best start And there's contact with Leclerc Our car is already 12% We should be at this level of car wear only in around the second lap But already on this car wear percentage at the first few corners And I think we have to settle for P4 because the top 3 is more than 3 seconds ahead of us. Gasly and Leclerc was pushing, putting on the pressure but they have fought too much and they are dropping behind. As you can see, not the best sector one. Ooh, running white, running white. Guess this gives Gasly a chance. Can Gasly make a move? Not quite. We're going to use ERS a little bit to def uh, push away from Gasly. Let's not let him overtake us. Not much going on right now, so we'll just carry on with the racing. We're actually falling further and further away from the leaders. As you can see, we were 4 seconds back just now. We're now 6 seconds back, going to 7 seconds. Oh, running very, very wide. Gasly, Russell, Leclerc, Norris all past me. We have a brush with Norris as well. Piastri tried to get past as well, not quite yet. We still have the slipstream on Lando Norris though. We might be able to make a comeback. 
as th there's a train there so we could possibly pass all of them as we said before every championship point matters so we never give up we're closing to Lando Norris not cl quite close enough to make the move yet we're closing even more and Lando Norris AI early breaking I forgot about that smash into the rear of Lando Norris uh, Lando Norris he has fallen out of the points and we have fallen to P10 so we said again every championship point matters so we have to make the best out of that great maneuvering to pass Carlos Sainz P9 now two points this weekend we have the slipstream of Lewis Hamilton which is the next target ahead we're not getting quite close enough yet oh oh we're gonna go to the right uh, not quite able to make the move. It's, the house is so slow on the main streets. Okay. Once again, we're closing up. We're going to make a move on the right-hand side again. We're going to stick the line this time around and pass him in the corner because of the AI early breaking. Uh, I think we have lost slipstream from Piastri. So we probably would have to settle for P8, which is pretty decent. Four championship points. Uh, you remember, I, sh I am sitting at P4 in the driver championship currently. So every point matters here. Our target is to be P1, but that's quite hard considering that the Haas is quite so slow on the main streets. So I think we just make the best out of it. Constructors wise, I think we should target P3. Right? As we have been P3 at a point of at, at a point this season. So why not do it again and finish there? Anyway, now we check back in on the race. We're now 16 seconds. Okay, we're, we're gaining a bit of time. Uh, like 13 seconds from the leaders. Ooh. Piash, well, we are 5 seconds back from Piastri. But you see, the, the, the car performance, the wear is playing a big part. As Hamilton and Carlos are right behind me. I think Carlos is trying to get past Hamilton. But not quite yet. So we're gaining some time on the front. We're 3 seconds away from PS3. Not quite getting the slipstream. All the RFs in the system, I know that. So, it's really quite hard if you, if you are in a, such a low-level car that's not performing so well. Slow on the straights. You can barely catch people without slipstream. And sometimes if you do it because of the AI early braking, You'll probably just make contact. Anyways, going on to the final lap. We are already on the final lap, sorry. Final sector. The last time we're gonna go through sector two. It's all oh, it's feeling the the grip in sector two is really bad for some reason. Is it just my car? Is it oh it's, you see you see what I mean by it's quite bad? I I just locked up. And going off the track, make some ha contact with Hamilton. Ooh, more contact with Carlos and Hamilton. Oh, the car is now 37%. That's going to play a big, big part. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Can we catch Hamilton before the final corner? It's, uh, my bad, this is not the final corner yet. It's still sector 2, sorry. Hamilton is just pulling away more and more. We still have the slip through my though. Can we do anything about it? 21 seconds to the leader. So there's no chance of catching him. But we can still target Hamilton. He's falling out of my slipstream range. No. Uh, he is completely falling out of my slipstream range. Now I just need to focus on not letting Carlos pass me. Two points is also very crucial in this championship. Oh. That's a Ferrari out of the race. Who is that Ferrari? Oh, it's Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc's out of this race. Carlos, we ended up in front of Carlos. Take P8 because of Charles Leclerc. What happened to him? Did he spin or something? Oh, he's P17. He's not completely out. I think he just spun. Oh, that's disaster for Charles Leclerc. He was in front of me originally getting big big points he fell all the way down that's so sad anyway if you liked it guys
hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys another time. Goodbye.